Louise Daniels. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially and justly. Impartially and justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of East Windsor Township Council Member. Of the office of East Windsor Township Council Member. According to the best of my ability. <laughs> According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help I, Alan Rosenberg, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, and that I will faithfully, impartially, <coughs> and impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties, all the duties of the office, of the office, East Windsor, of East Township, Windsor Township Council, Council member. So help me God. I, Perry Shapiro, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform mm -hmm. all the duties, all the duties of the office, of the office of East Windsor Township Council. Member. of East Windsor Township Council member. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me go on. I, Janice S. Miranoff, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of the office of, <coughs> all of the duties of the office of, Mayor of East Windsor Township, Mayor of East Windsor Township, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, so help me God. Hi, John Zoller. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office of. All the duties of the office of. Deputy Mayor of East Windsor Township. Deputy Mayor of East Windsor Township. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. It is uh, a great time to be in East Windsor Township as we see the mayor and the council work so very hard on behalf of the community that we have here. Uh, Mercer County is absolutely blessed to have leadership like those of uh, Mayor Mirnoff and the council, but so many of you in the room, my colleagues on the Freeholder Board, uh, the folks in the legislature, and the ones who represent Democrats, and everyone throughout this great county of ours. I want to say uh, this is not a time where politics plays any role, but a time when we all come together as one to be part of uh, this community and to be part of the Greater Mercer County uh, Foundation. I want to say thank you all on behalf and let me greet you uh, today in the great town of East Windsor Township. It's always an honor for me to attend um, this special event at the beginning of a new session and to essentially honor the mayor and the council for the great work that they do here in East Windsor. This town truly is a model and I think that um, all of you who live here know that I'm right about that. Um, this is a town that people look to when they want to have an idea about how good government works. And um, certainly the mayor has distinguished herself in terms of being the head of the League of Municipalities, which consists of all of the municipalities throughout the state, active with the, um, the League of Mayors, I think it's called, Conference of Mayors, and uh, has really been uh, a leader throughout, and many towns throughout the state have had the benefit of learning from her. So here in East Windsor, we're lucky, I don't live in East Windsor, but representing it, I feel lucky as well, to have such a wonderful mayor and township government, to see all that they've been able to accomplish over the years, uh, and to know that um, they're going to do it for the next few years as well. So thank you for having me here today. Um, it's a great day. I want to um, thank uh, all the members for their confidence and um, uh, allowing uh, me to continue uh, as mayor uh, once again. Uh, I appreciate it and have um, enjoyed the opportunity to be able to contribute in that role. I also want to um, just echo the thanks to all of our volunteers once again, uh, to our first responders, to our uh, excellent staff and department heads, uh, several of whom are here who do such a great job all year and really allow us to have a solid foundation and to be able to shine and to move forward on many of the programs and opportunities that uh, we are able to offer and to uh, accomplish uh, for the residents of our community. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about service. Sometimes uh, when we read the newspapers today, as was uh, obliquely referenced in some of the comments, 
I think it's easy to forget that you're supposed to run for public office to serve the people who uh, 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 you are obligated and who gave you the trust, all of the people, uh, whether or not they actually cast the ballot for you. Uh, and that is uh, a philosophy that we believe in very strongly here in East Windsor Township. Uh, we would wish that it would prevail a bit more in uh, some of the other sectors of our nation. Uh, and we can hope that in a new year uh, that there will be uh, new opportunities and uh, new thoughts about how to best serve the people uh, and to make that the focus. Uh, but community service and public service is something that we value in East Windsor. Uh, and, uh, something that, as you can tell, through all of our great members, we take very seriously. So I do want to just take a moment, uh, not as a state of the township, uh, but just really a, a few minutes um, and talk uh, about uh, some of the, uh, talk very quickly and briefly about some of the things that we've accomplished uh, over the years and look forward to in the coming year. Uh, so one of the things referenced by Deputy Mayor Zoller that we take a great deal of pride in uh, is that uh, we uh, have demonstrated a very fiscally conservative, very responsible record uh, in terms of budgeting and expenditures. This will be our fifth consecutive year with no increase in the municipal tax rate, and we are far away the smallest portion of the tax bill, even though we have to send out the bad news to everybody. Uh, and we uh, certainly commit to continuing to work hard uh, toward keeping our expenditures tight, uh, and keeping the burden as low as possible on our residents. Uh, another front that um, we take a great deal of pride in in East Windsor, uh, and you can see it as you drive around the town, is that we are in a very major business boom in East Windsor. Uh, we have had uh, dramatic uh, business uh, progress in the recent years. Uh, it is all part of our planning. Uh, we do have a plan, uh, and for the most part, uh, those things that are going on uh, are uh, in accordance with it. And just to mention some of the very major uh, items that we have seen, uh, Aerobindo uh, has uh, opened up a uh, India-based uh, pharmaceutical company, has opened up a major 565,000 square foot facility on uh, 571, uh, which will generate over 300 jobs. They've also moved into the PAT Center building. They've moved their entire administrative staff and made this their North American headquarters, bringing another 122 uh, administrative employees to that facility. Gateway Twin Rivers, approximately 420,000 square foot facility on Milford Road, uh, has uh, been uh, occupied now by LG Electronics, uh, another uh, major uh, uh, global company, which actually is right across the way from another major global company, Conair Corporation. Uh, the former National Lead property has seen a redevelopment, uh, is in the process of constructing a new facility of 635,000 square feet on a site that was deteriorated, dilapidated, a sa safety hazard will be occupied by Modway Furniture. Uh, Shiseido is in the process of completing another major uh, expansion in our community that will greatly grow the local workforce uh, as well as make them a um, increasingly important part of the Shiseido family with tripling of their R&D capacity and being one of the innovation uh, centers uh, for their company. We're very proud of that. Uh, Javion, another pharma company, is doubling the size of their community. Four Dose Pharma, another uh, pharmaceutical company has uh, located in the town, the Vidium, another pharmaceutical company. Uh, we have redevelopment of 329 Wyckoff Mills. Uh, another major facility will be locating there, and I could go on. Uh, those are uh, some of the major developments that we have seen, and many of them, uh, much to our delight, underscore and grow our Einstein's Alley vision here in East Windsor Township, which is to attract clean, high quality, uh, research and development companies uh, to uh, really give us a dramatically uh, major uh, niche here in East Windsor uh, in uh, those types of uh, 
research in pharmaceutical companies, and that's something uh, that we are very proud of uh, boasting about our great success here. On the retail uh, front, we also have a number of major projects that are going forward, uh, including the shops at East Windsor, at Promenade. Americana has a major project uh, uh, that will be underway. Uh, and in residential, we've just opened the woods at East Windsor, another uh, senior facility in the seasons at East Windsor. Uh, a uh, assisted living project will be breaking ground, we expect, this week or this year. And again, um, I could go on. Those are some of the highlights of new development uh, that uh, we've seen in our community. Uh, we uh, work very hard uh, to attract high quality companies that uh, benefit our community. And uh, we are proud of our success record and one that we will continue to tout in the coming year. Uh, roadways are, um, aside from services, our services are first uh, class, and we say second to none. We will work hard to continue that great record. Our roadways, uh, we've done uh, a number of roadway improvements uh, uh, in the past year. We have a number that are on the docket going into 2018, an area that residents are always interested in. So we did Cypress, uh, Woodland. Uh, a large part of Brook Tree Road uh, from Oak Creek. Um, we did Amy Drive, Lindenbrook, uh, among others this past year. Going into 2018, uh, we expect uh, to undertake uh, Probasco Road, uh, Brook Tree Road, uh, the remainder of it from Oak Creek to Dutch Neck, as well as the entirety of Wiltshire Drive, and we have several other projects that we are also reviewing to add to that list. Uh, the majority of these are underwritten by state grants that we've been uh, successful at obtaining. Uh, we also uh, obtain monies through developer contributions that help, uh, under, uh, uh, help fund our uh, infrastructure improvements. Uh, we have a number of grant applications that we have filed this year, and we're hopeful that a number of those will come to fruition. I do need to mention the 130 Hankins Conover. I get asked about that all of the time, the realignment. Uh, we have done everything we can as a council in advocating and trying to move that forward. Uh, uh, we, uh, I understand, are awaiting, uh, we, we got the permit, but we are awaiting uh, additional sign-offs apparently from the Department of Transportation. So we are hoping that maybe with a new year, and maybe somebody new, uh, that we can move the project forward um, in the coming months. Uh, but we remain committed to that. Let me just very quickly do a laundry list because there was a lot of things that we've uh, accomplished and that we will have on our docket in the coming year in terms of further <coughs> implementation. We had done a pedestrian and bicycle circulation study want to move forward on some of the recommendations. Uh, we had two planning studies. All of these are grant funded. Uh, two planning studies, one in the New Jersey Turnpike area, another on the Route 33 corridor that we also wish to go forward in taking additional implementation steps. We uh, uh, put the light uh, literally this year on the police court uh, building solar project at the beginning of the year, uh, which will uh, keep us uh, uh, further sustainable, which is one of the important priorities of this council, and also save our taxpayers uh, further uh, monies. Uh, we are continuing to move forward on the no net loss tree replacement project. Uh, we've done plantings this year. We have further ones. Again, this is grant funded uh, as a result of the turnpike uh, demolition of uh, huge acres of uh, trees within our community. I did mention previously, we didn't get to it, but we uh, do want to look at the energy aggregation program uh, for the community, and we'll hope that maybe this will be the year. Continuing to work with Sustainable Jersey, uh, we have the silver certification, which is the highest certification that we had been able to achieve. We will be looking to continue that and to improve that as uh, possible. Be new open space uh, projects in the coming year. We also are looking through the Economic Development Committee at our gateway areas uh, to improve our signage as well as to take advantage of a property at 130 and 33 that the township had picked up on a number of years ago uh, to try to make a visible impression there. We've done major municipal facility work this year with new HVAC systems in the municipal building and the uh, police court building, uh, a new roof on the uh, police court building and a new terrace area on the police court building. Uh, these are not cheap things, but uh, they do have to get done. 
Uh, they're an important part of maintaining the um, quality uh, for our buildings and for our uh, staff. We uh, also have coming up in the new year uh, the Union Transportation Trail Extension. We did receive a major grant uh, for that project and we'll be moving forward on planning for that. Uh, we also, in our senior center, will be reviewing both our systems and our building uh, to see how we can best enhance uh, and accommodate uh, the huge uh, and growing number of seniors who love our senior director, who love our building, uh, and who love all of our programs. So uh, that is a uh, positive thing, but a challenge. We also have been awarded a new community bus, and we expect to be uh, receiving that in the coming 12 months. Uh, we had a longer timeline, and we just got New Jersey Transit to move that up. So uh, another exciting uh, opportunity for our seniors and our community. Uh, the last comment I do want to make, those are, that's my laundry list, I do need to do that, uh, is the other area that we did mention that's so important to us is just involving people in our government. We've had a great track record in doing that, uh, both uh, students as well as residents uh, uh, from all kinds of backgrounds. It's something that's really important to us, that uh, people step up, that they know more about their government, that they become involved in their government, and that we have the benefit of their ideas, their insights, and their perspectives. So we remain committed uh, to outreaching in every way that we can to ensure that our uh, community uh, gets a seat at the table uh, and they get to get uh, from us the government that they uh, voted for uh, and that they feel best responds to the needs and desires that they have for East Windsor Township uh, going forward. And I know that all of us are committed uh, to that important goal. So with that, uh, we've had a great year. Uh, we look forward to a great 2018 in East Windsor Township. Uh, we thank all of our partners in government. We thank all of our partners in the community and in the municipal family. Uh, for making all of this possible and being such an important part of our success. Uh, to all of you and to your families, your friends, and your neighborhoods, uh, we wish you a, a wonderful 2018 uh, with all the blessings of good health, of peace in your families, and good times uh, going forward. Uh, thank you for all of your help and support for us. Uh, and uh, we look forward uh, to continuing that wonderful relationship uh, moving forward. As with any government, but also any uh, good, effective organization in our community, uh, we depend uh, a great deal on volunteers, on people being willing to come forward uh, and to give up their time and their talents and their interests in making our community better. Uh, we do the same in East Windsor, and we've been very blessed over the years to have an abundance of people that are willing to come forward and to uh, uh, give us their, their time and uh, their commitment to uh, help us in putting forward many of our programs and our activities uh, in helping to give good advice uh, to the governing body through our various volunteer boards and committees. So what uh, we do traditionally in East Windsor is when a term uh, is completed uh, by a volunteer, even if they are reappointed and continuing on, uh, we like to take the opportunity at this uh, reorganization meeting and recognize and thank them uh, for their contributions to the community. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So starting with the uh, Commission on Aging, uh, Seidel Norris. I'm not sure whether to come down or up. Uh, so Dell has been on the Commission on Aging for many years and does really a super job. And so thank you so much for thank you. Next uh, is uh, Dillis Henninger, also on the Commission on Aging. Dillis is a little bit newer, but a very committed member and a uh, very caring member. And uh, we thank her for uh, her great uh, willingness to help out and to uh, join us. So, thank you. Okay, uh, certificate uh, to uh, for Economic Development Committee, Peter Block.
Peter can now have his choice of anything he'd like in the town. <laughs> <laughs> Economic Development Committee, Larry Zisman. Let me see Larry. Okay. In the Environmental Commission, Edward Kelly. Ed uh, has uh, served uh, for many years as the chair of the uh, planning board, and for many years on the planning board, he serves. Uh, on our planning board and also environmental commission. We'll be having him back momentarily because uh, I can't find the certificate right now. Besides, <laughs> uh, uh, it gives him a uh, excuse to come up to us. He's a very committed person who a lot of time to the community. So thank you. Here it is. <laughs> for the Environmental Commission, and this one is for the planning board. <laughs> for the uh, planning board as well, uh, uh, the, uh, not quite as long serving, but for quite a number of years, and also uh, somebody who's been very involved in our community, Barry Clark. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Good, thank you. The East Windsor, thank you. Thank you. Okay, from the East Windsor Municipal Utilities Authority, <coughs> Lambert Milner. Authority, uh, William Lawler. I'm going to ask uh, all the volunteers that I just recognized uh, to come back and come on up for just a moment, uh, if you would, so we can recognize everybody, please. 